Stephen Anthony Rickards was just 13 years old when he stabbed his eight-year-old sister to death at their Mount Vernon home back in 2001. Court documents show he told police, I killed my sister because she caused lots of pain during his life, saying what I did was wrong. I took her life away. Rickards served seven years in juvenile detention and was released on his 21st birthday. State versus Stephen Rickards. Eight years later, he now wants his record sealed and vacated so no one can know about his crime. And that's usually what happens. But prosecutor Rich Weirich says Rickards' crime was so heinous the public should know. He's fighting this case because he wants state law protecting juvenile records changed. I think that there are certain uh, types of crimes that uh, should not be sealed. First degree murder. This is a dog and pony show. Rickards' mother, Diane Fox, says her son had a psychotic break and he's now healthy, married with two kids, and just wants to get on with his life. The law states as long as Rickards meets certain conditions, as he has, his record can essentially be wiped clean, meaning killing his own sister would no longer show up on a background check. Would you want to know if a prospective employee had been convicted of murdering a child? If that convicted employee did everything that he needed to do to be right with society, is it my job to judge him for the rest of his life? No, I wouldn't. Weirich released the court files to the media barely 24 hours before the judge could seal them today. Diane Fox believes her son is being used as a political pawn to advance the prosecutor's agenda in Olympia. Do we hold it against him forever or do we let him live his life and be a good person? That's all he wants. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.